All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. It's been almost a month since I posted and that's just because I've been super busy. My mom came into town for the first time in three years. So this is her first time coming into LA. So of course I had to show around. I signed on a new client. Here's some work that I've been doing for them. So that's been keeping me busy. And overall, I've just been busy learning and trying to grow in this photography business. But I haven't forgotten about YouTube. It is definitely one of my main priorities, but the business always comes first. So I'm glad we're back and we have time now to get this video out to you guys. So in this video, I just wanted to take you guys along and show you one of my latest photo shoots with my buddy Deshaun. In this video, we're gonna be shooting with Portra 800 and we're also gonna be shooting with some Cinestill 800T. So really the whole reason why we even did this shoot was because a week before I did this shoot, I was out with some friends and we were walking around Koreatown at night and I looked over and I saw this bus stop location. I knew from the second that I saw this location that I had to go back and shoot something there. I wanted it to be cinematic and something that felt unique and creative because the scene alone looked like a movie scene, but I could only imagine if I put a subject in there, what it would look like. So the reason why we're gonna be shooting some Cinestill 800T towards the end of this video is because I wanted that cinematic look and that film stock really just does a great job of making things look really cinematic. So we're gonna start off in this video shooting some Portrait 800, just walking around while we kill some time and wait for the light to go down. But I still love some of these photos. We ended up hopping a fence and checking out this abandoned car. We ended up finding this liquor store and got some really cool photos outside of there. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video and hope you guys enjoy this one. It is a sick photo walk just around Koreatown here in LA. And we're just taking some sick photos. All right, guys, today I'm loading in some Portrait 800. We are shooting with my friend Deshaun Tucker, who we've been Instagram friends for a while now. Today we're just gonna go out and shoot some portraits right here in Silver Lake. The lighting's pretty interesting because we've had like the wildfires happening right now. So I don't know, just wanted to get out and shoot. It's Friday, I felt creative. I was out with some friends last week and I saw this bus stop and I just thought it looked super sick. So I wanted to do a shoot out here at night. So that's why we're shooting with Portrait 800. It's because 800 ISO, you're gonna get a faster shutter speed. So that eliminates camera shaking and you know slow shutter. Just so the photos stay crispy for 120. We're gonna be shooting some Cinestill 800T. I love this stuff, it has so much character, and at night it really pops off. So, we'll be shooting some 120 a little bit later, but for now, we're gonna be doing Portrait 100 on 35 millimeter. And also for later tonight, I got some Cinestill 800T for 35 too. I have like a bunch of clothes in my truck. Okay, fire. Yeah, I love the options, love options. So, I think now we'll just go out on the strip and just see anything we like. This is just how I do my shoots. You just kind of walk nah, around. I love it. Yeah. Impromptu. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Walk around, see what we like. So let's just head over this way and see. Look at this car. I was just talking about finding a crazy, like, destroyed car, wasn't I? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I will climb it for the shot. I don't know if you'd be down. I mean, it's if I could get a good enough angle of it, it could be cool. I wonder if this shit just looks kind of open, but also abandoned. So I don't know what the hell. Do you think it'd be tough though? Do you like it? I think it looks sick. Yeah. Let's see if we, yeah, because you never know, but yeah, just like right off rip, first shot, we're just like already getting in trouble. <laughs> we'll set the tone first and then we'll come back for the crazy shit. I feel like this could be kind of a sick spot to start. I like the palm tree and the golden lights hitting up there. Let's have you stand up here and I'll kind of direct you. I would go a little bit further back yeah about right there sick and then maybe on the rail just start off like yeah that's tough and i think for your head, face over this way three two boom first shot done now i usually do like a little close-up after yeah looking right in the lens is good chin down a little bit more yep right there three two one boom yeah switch it up love the colors right here three Two and one. And actually, could you open your chest a little bit more to me? I just want to see more of the white, and then uh, put the tie together a little bit. Actually, let's let's pose you just standing without the rail, just so we have a little bit of variety. I think just yeah, pull everything down a little bit. Try something like this. Let me just see what that looks like. Yeah, it's subtle. Yeah, yeah, that's fire. Sick. And then look in right here. Yeah, three, two, one, sick. Love that. Yeah, let's keep moving to see what we got. I think I only shot like, I only shot six photos there. What do you have? Uh, 30, 30 left. Oh. You know how we do. Big sky in the cut. You know what it is, bro. <laughs> We're gonna get this alleyway shot right here. So let's have you stand a couple feet in. I think actually turn to your side a little bit. Yeah, like that. That looks sick. Take that. 
Let me get a little closer. I just love the punching of this. I think even, yeah, looking here now in this location, you can uh, adjust your, your arm to just be straight with us. Yeah. Damn, this is a good spot for a close up. Yeah, chin down just a little. Keep that face though, looks good. Three, two, and one. And then you have you just look straight that way. I think you can keep the toothpick in. I think it looks sick. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking straight. Yep, three, two, one. Boom. Okay, that one was fire. Yeah, and then stand up. And just here, looking off, cross hands. Yep, 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 top. Yeah, just like that, and look more sideways. Yes, sir, three, two, and one. All right, you good. First time wearing these too, but I'm good. Oh, here we go. Hey, good work, thank you. Thank you so much, sorry about that. <laughs> now I think, let's go chase the light a little bit. Head down that way. I, I want you to like be comfortable on the shoe and see how you're looking too. You know, if there's anything you want to adjust. Oh, you bet. Thank you. Yeah, of course. What I love about this shoot specifically is we really just let the moment kind of guide us. We went wherever the lighting was, we went wherever the texture was at, and we really were just going with the flow trying to find great spots. And I think that's a great skill set to have is being able to find cool locations and learn how to kind of manipulate the light to your advantage. And that's why I show you guys so many behind the scenes videos on my channel, because I feel like you can learn so much just from observing and watching how somebody is directing their photo shoot, posing people, guiding them, even just simply communicating can really help out on your next photo shoot. Cool. Yeah, whenever you feel comfortable. I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay, now stay there. Yep, just like that. Three, two, one. One more looking that way. Three, two, one. And now wide shot. Sick. We just hit 2K subs on YouTube while we're shooting. 2K subs. Appreciate the love, y'all. We gotta keep this shit going. Bro, it's 200 billion. 200 billion? <laughs> hey, 200 billion would be insane. Yeah, maybe just one. Flick like right in the middle of it. Open the, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, just enough to see the jewelry right there. Three, two, one. And then look over this way. Three, two, one. Maybe like on the stair, like this building is just weird. It's a square. Yeah, stand on the stairs, the bottom step. Yeah, crazy. Yep, yep, look in here, perfect. Three, two, and one, okay. Got that. Actually, bro, let's have you go in the corner of the, on this side, on, I think on this side, in the grass right there where those bricks are at, like just stand kind of in that area. And here we go, three, two, one. I feel like the leather look needs like one more thing. Like I'm seeing some red garage doors. We could try with the texture there. Oh yeah, these are cool. What is that say? Only God can judge me. That's fire. Oh, yeah. That. Maybe you stand in the middle. All right, and here we go. Three, two, one. Gonna punch out for a wider shot. Right there, and then looking off that way, it'd be sick. Okay, just grabbing this wide shot. Three, two, one. Got that. Let's go horizontal. I think for this one, look right into the lens. Three, two, one. Okay, let's have you on the red now. Three, two, one, and then turn this way. Just because the light's coming in, you can turn your whole body. Yep, no worries. Coming in that way, and here we go. Three, two, one, and then looking off over that way. Yeah, 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 even like that, that's fire. Three, two, one, and one super close up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Three, two, one. Hey, sick, okay, fire. And I want to do one without the glasses, I think, yeah. Yep, get you some variety. And then come off the door a little bit. We're still gonna use the door, but get some separation. Little step this way, right there, perfect. Yep, and three, two, one. Zooming in a little bit more. And actually, let's have you just straight like this. Like half off? Yeah, I like to have off, it's sick. Yep, three, two, and I think actually just like chin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. Three, two, one. Okay. 
Always love that sound. I love how the Portra 800 shots came out on this photo shoot just because I feel like it got the skin tones to be super accurate. I also love shooting with Portra 800 because it just has a certain color and a mood to it. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I've really just spent a lot of time learning lately. I've been learning how to grow my YouTube, I've been learning how to grow my business, and I really couldn't do it without the help of today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Since I've been on Skillshare, I've been taking this class called YouTube Success by Marquise Brownlee. It's given me so much insight on actually how to script my videos and also just how to film videos in a more interesting way. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives. With thousands of classes led by industry experts, all across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and so much more. Skillshare can really help you take your career, your hobbies, your skills, your passions, or side hustles to the next level. If you're ready to learn and grow in your business, Skillshare is the perfect place for you. The first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, so we just cleared our roll of Portra 800. And now what we're gonna do is put this bad boy in. This is Cinestelli 100, which I've talked about this a lot before on the channel. I love this one, it has so much character to it. It makes the lights have halation. This is really cool for just really a creative looking shot. All right, so we have Cinestill in the 35 millimeter, and we are also gonna put this Cinestill in the Mamiya and hopefully get some sick nighttime shots. I brought my tripod this time. We're gonna try to do it right. I wanna know down in the comments actually what film stocks you guys believe are the most cinematic or the most unique looking. I'm really trying to look for more film stocks. I've been shooting a lot with Portra 400, Portra 800, Cinestill 800T, and I've also been shooting a lot with Ektar 100. So if you guys have any recommendations or just film stocks that you think look cinematic, leave them down below, I'm curious. Maybe if we just start off like kinda down the line. I don't know. Let me see what I can get in the shot. Yeah, this looks so sick. Yeah, I think like that and then look over this way. Well, more with your chin. Yeah, like that, perfect. Super candid, looks great. Three, two, boom. Got it. All right. Hey, this shutter sounds crazy, don't it? It does. It's like a tank. All right, so I'm gonna go down a little bit more with it. Oh, it's a film photo, it's gonna take a while. Oh, you got me. Holy shit, dude, I was like, I could, but. All right, I'm gonna shoot one on this too. Turn, uh, turn this way with chest facing out. I'm trying to get a shot like this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Three, two, one. Let's go on the other side of the door then. Yeah. All right, we're ready for our hey, hey, it's yeah, still yeah. film. It still might take a while. <laughs> I know, brother. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah, dude, it looks so sick. All right, three, two. Crazy. Okay. Run up another one. Like put put your hands up here real quick and let me just see. I want to grab like a detailed shot. Turn this way. Like move out a little bit, like further back. All the lighting's like low key this way. Like pointing this way. So maybe, yeah, let's go over let's go over here real quick. So you see how we have light now on you yeah. instead of against you? Now we can shoot like different shit here. So, yep, three, two, one. And then maybe one like with this in the back. Yes, yeah, they looking straight, like ahead of you, that's fire. Three, two, okay, nice, got that. And now maybe we just try to go there and work our way that way and then we should be good with this location. Then we'll go to the bus stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's literally right there, bro, we'll get to it. I'm gonna grab a full body. Yep, tough, and look in here. Three, two, one. Stand right in the middle of this. Three, two, one. Okay, got that. All right, so this, this shot I literally came all the way on the other side of town for. I was out with some friends and I saw this scene here and to me it just looked like a movie. So, super stoked. We have Deshaun here. We're gonna be shooting some long exposures on the Mamiya. Hopefully it turns out, but uh, yeah, couldn't be more stoked on this shot, so hopefully we can get it. All right, bro, here we go. So basically, just be as still as you can. And I think for the pose, take a little step back into the light. Yep, take a little step this way. A little bit more. A little less. Yep, right there. Hey, and do this. Your jacket was unbuttoned. Can you unbutton it again? Yeah, have it open. Yeah, have it open. And you did this pose. 
All right, bro, here we go. Hold it. All right, pause. That felt good. We'll do a couple more. Opening of the cars is the trickiest part because. Yeah, like yeah, because it's long exposure, so the light will be trailing in the shot. We, I don't really want that, but maybe we might get something cool. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay, pause. Yep. Good. 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 Oh, Just a couple more. This is the shot. Uh, nah, we can switch it up. I did two there, so. Take a step back. I want a little bit more light on you. Yep. And then look over this way. Yeah, just like that. Stay there. So sick. Yep, couple more. Super wide shot would be fun for this. Hey, bro. So take a little step back and look over that way. Nah, can you just do this one again? And look down. Yeah, 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 like that. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. And one more with your head up. Up. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, but your hands like this. Hands like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. I took like, I took like five over there. Yes. Yep. Because you never know. So this one's done. Let me put the lens cap on here. And yeah, bro, I feel like we're good. I mean, yeah, I still got a lot of shots. So I'll just kill them another time. How much more you got left from here? Uh, twenty something. Okay. Yeah, it would take a grip. That's a wrap on my boy Sean. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Hey. We crushed that, man. Your soul, man. Of course, bro. You're the man. Absolutely. I got you. We're locked in now. Locked in? Yeah. This guy's gonna be a regular on the channel. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for <laughs> that. Regular. Let's get it. All right, let's head out. I couldn't be more stoked on how this shot came out. It took a couple tries just because on film, I like to take a couple if I'm feeling really good about the shot. And the shot is obviously a long exposure. So in some of the shots, we got some cool light trails from the cars and just really happy accidents that I was really stoked on. And that's the end of the shoot, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you learned something down below. Let me know your favorite shot from this shoot or let me know your favorite part from this video. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We have some other cool videos coming out soon. So make sure you guys subscribe for more film photography or just photography related videos. And until then, I'll see you guys. Peace.